everything. All right, guys. Today we are back in Solo Learn JavaScript doing objects. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Introducing objects. Objects, you can see you have a variable and you start adding key value pairs here to kind of describe that variable, if you will, kind of like a JSON. So uh, in reference to object color, height, weight, name, name, examples are all examples of properties. Uh, we are also can set things using dot or bracket notation. So what built-in properties use to count the number of characters and a character's property dot length. Excuse me, my glasses are a little dirty. Uh, an object method is a property that confines a that contains a function definition. Okay. So it's a basically a function. What access the color property of the hair object? So it'd be hair dot color. That's how you access it. You can also access it. Oh, well, that's with the dot syntax. You also use the bracket notation, but dot for the uh, for the dot. Uh, Oh, let me go ahead and move this chat back down, actually. I'm over here looking. Let's go ahead and move this back down to its rightful place. To its rightful home. Uh, now let's go ahead and move this guy center, actually. Yeah. Hey, Dylan's life is the 365-day coding life challenge, boys. <laughs> Fill in the blanks to create a constructor function. So um, this dot title is equal to title, and this dot director is to equal to director. A constructor is where you basically set up an object, and you have to construct it firsthand. So when you do create a movie, it knows that the title parameter you're passing in is a title, and the director parameter you're passing in is a director. I think I might be getting some new glasses soon from my favorite site, Warby Parker. Great site to get glasses. Not that I'm sponsored or anything, because I'm not, although I wish they would send me some free glasses, because <laughs> I'm cheap. Uh, what keyword is used for creating an instance of an object? So, new. When you create a new version of an object, you let it know that the new keyword. You see right here, var john is equal to new person, john25, and we have the constructor above it to say what it is that we're creating. Which two components are necessary in order to use information contained within an object? So, object's name, property's name, constructor function's name, no. I think it's asking when you create it, there we go. Object initialization, so you can by default just immediately start creating it. <laughs> um, so Simba, Oh, uh, sorry, I got distracted here. You, uh, it's just saying to put the brackets in here. So you're you're setting up an object, and you, when dealing with objects, JSON objects in general, you need to. Why is my phone dinging? Facebook Messenger is telling me Happy New Year's. Well, Happy New Year's, to you, Facebook, and dear Mark Zuckerberg. Um. Yeah, so um, spaces and line breaks aren't important, but it's a great way of breaking up your code. So if we wanted to document out right the Simba the object with the category property, we would do it like so. Oops, that's category. There we go. Complete the following expression to display Simba's object property on. Oh. Uh, it's category and they don't have the um, the bracket at the end. There we go. Uh, the monster cat license. So the monster cat license is for um, two years. Once we hit, I believe. No, no. Excuse me. It's it's uh it's good for a lifetime. That's that's uh that's how long the monster cat license is. Um, all right, what are we? Methods. So methods are basically functions within your uh, constructor th that you can inherit. This keyword in the method means uh, the name of the given, the current object. There we go. 
Uh, methods can also define the functions outside of the constructor, constructor um, and associate with the object. This dot year of birth is equal to born year. Uh, born year here is a function. Return 2016 minus this dot age. Okay. Seems simple enough. Please associate the test data constructor, this is our constructor, with the method called my method. So we have my method. And notice how we don't actually have to call it uh, with the brackets. So if we call it with the bra or with the, oh, the brackets, the, um, we call the curler things. Uh, anyhow, these things. Uh, it's actually going to call the function. We actually just want to pass the function in, which is why we do it like that. Um, call the method as usual. All right. In order to use the object's property within a function, use. In order to use the object's property within a function, use the var keyword. Uses this. Use the function's name. No. All right. Let's go back and review real quick then. This is not the function's name that we're calling. Call the method by the property name you specify in the constructor rather than the function name. Oh, whoops. Property name. What the hell? Let's go. Call the method by the property name in the constructor function rather than the function name. So what we're doing. We already did this. In order to use the object's property within a function, you need to use, no, it's not the var keyword. Is it the, this keyword? I guess I don't understand the question. Yeah, it's for a lifetime, the uh, monster cat license. Anyhow, an object's properties are similar to variables. Methods are similar to functions. Cool. Uh, what is the result of the following expression? Um, my string dot length, so length will count how many uh, characters there are. In this case, it is six. Cool. And then uh, complete the expression, create an object constructor, taking into account that height and weight are properties and calculate is a method for the given object. So this dot height is equal to the height of the constructor that we're passing in, same thing with weight. And then this dot simple calc is equal to calculate which is the function that we're passing in. Nice. So that was objects. I hope you guys enjoyed this. We stumbled a little bit there. Uh, I do pass through this pretty fast. So uh, sometimes you may want to pause and scan and hopefully you have a better understanding. I like to kind of cruise by these things. Um, I don't do too much object oriented JavaScript in all honesty. So some of this stuff's a little bit of a refresher, which is good. But as always guys, don't forget to comment like, subscribe, and share the video, and support me on patreon.com slash codingtutorials360. And don't forget to look forward to our weekly Friday interviews on Behind the Code, where we interview software developers, designers, anybody in the tech or software space, and we ask them questions, and as always, we ask to answer your questions at the end. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Special thanks to our sponsor, Dev Mountain. If you're interested in a coding boot camp, why don't you check them out where they include housing alongside their tuition so you can get up, go, and immerse yourself in the environment. If you want to support me, go over to patreon.com slash codingtutorials360 so we can put out more content. Thanks for watching.